As we head into the new year, we all are vowing to change something in one way or another. But one thing that won't change anytime soon is the way we use social media. It used to be a way to kill a few minutes here and there, or to keep up to date with our closest friends. Now, it's like we use it every waking chance we get. My Nexus 6P is more than two years old now, and after many months of use, my selfie camera won't open anymore. This was super infuriating, but I soon realized how often I actually need it. Surprisingly little. On my Instagram, I rarely post any front-facing camera selfies. And this made me realize how I really use social media differently. It's pretty well known that Instagram is a place where we post our best moments and put on a mask, a new persona with every shot. A selfie really doesn't do that very well. Worst yet, some people like to delete pictures when they get too old. Sure, that post from 2014 might not represent who you are now, but it serves as a marker in time for you to see your growth from then to now. I wonder what I was doing a year ago from now. It's a question Facebook has addressed directly with memories. But with Instagram, it's really easy for us to just scroll back in time when this was our online persona and what you wanted all of your friends to know about in that exact moment. So why would you want to delete them? This is even the case for my YouTube channel. Want to hear the mind-blowing powers of puberty? Jump back a few years ago and you can listen. See a movie made by me, mostly for me. Even if I don't get hundreds of likes or views, I still post my very best because one day I will appreciate the digital timeline I have left behind, documenting my hobbies, interests, and growth as an individual. And who knows, maybe someone out there will like it too.